invited. For, exactly. And then there's going to be certain spots that are reserved for people who uh, get donated in. So pretty much you vote with your wallet. And uh, Nikat's out here in SoCal campaigning. I mean, <laughs> He's definitely saying, like, I am your choice for Summit 2019. I mean, we very well can see him win over some hearts in the SoCal region. Just do exactly that. He's going to show, show us what his Pichu's made up in his Nitro's Summit. Ooh. Now, this is the first time I've actually gotten to see Nakat's uh, Pichu in person. I'm fairly excited to see what he can do with it. Already getting a few up airs off his row. Yeah, I was about to say, Nitro looks suitably less excited <laughs> on the receiving end of that combo. Didn't that too much damage to Going Ooh. off stage. And it's not, not afraid at all. That's right. This the uh, Pichu, you don't have to be afraid. I mean, I would. I would be a little afraid when it's like you're at those higher percents and then the kill off can come out but before then go Ooh. damn almost any other character we'd still be talking about the first stock but each you latest in the game you catch a back there at 102 percent you know find yourself back at zero before you come okay maybe having a little bit of trouble right now with these homing attacks the homing attack did get changed from ultimate or smash forward into ultimate where now you can do an instant homing attack or you can just let it charge you can activate when uh, you choose when to use it. I feel like the homing attack is what makes Sonic so dangerous as a character because you can stop your momentum at any given time. You can stop, you can like run up or jump, stop out of nowhere, hit the homing attack. Just keep someone off guard, keep them off their rhythm. And just <laughs> dude, the stank leg will beat you. It just, it just doesn't look right. He just sticks it out. <laughs> like, yo, hold his like, leg. Uh, <laughs> Like, uh, that leg actually has, like, a huge hurt box. Oh, yeah. Or hit box. So, I've seen I've seen that f tilt connect at the weirdest angles. You can also angle it. it like, the hit box, it, it, it just looks odd. Homing attack, that's going to get shielded. There's the up beat. That doesn't mind chasing after it. Nitro, revs it up. Another shield. There's the grab. Okay, good. Up tilt into that back air. Taking a little bit of extra damage, but we're gonna see a back throw from Nitro. Ooh, lands the spring. Lands the spring, but it wasn't able to land the two frame. It definitely would have been lights out for Nakat's second stock. Yeah, I, I feel like Nakat is, is having, I wouldn't say a tough time, but just Sonic in this matchup in general. Sonic's not gonna sit there and eat the combos that he should normally thrive off. Even medium characters end up being combo. Uh, for Pichu in some of the instances, but Nitro Sonic, just so elusive, using that speed to great effect, the up B, it's getting them out of any sticky situation he doesn't like, and uh, it's just hard to get those combos you see people post on Twitter. That's right, and of course with the way Pichu has his thunder jolt, he's got the oh. back airs, it makes it very difficult to try and land inside uh, Pichu, but Nitro still maintaining his advantage and taking the lead. It's going to be a threat. It's a left back electric. She's there. Up the row. No lightning afterwards. Aerial using his... Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, Nitro used his second jump to actually keep himself alive and just stop the momentum from going into the blast zone. But Nakat, realizing he didn't have his second jump, went off stage, played extremely aggressive, and rewarded him uh, evening up the stocks. One of those rough choices. After you double jump, telegraph your moves. Another up B out of Nitro. Down to the last stock. He's slightly for Nakat. Spinning the win out here, homing attack, will connect. 75% racked up, the cat's starting to make it happen. Oh, if that was a spike. Oh yeah, that was a spike indeed. But I think that was it, yeah, that was enough. Oh! Got the frames before the ledge grab. The cat's enough, that's enough. <laughs> so I think Pichu, um, so for those who don't know the way that the air dodge to ledge works, there's a certain amount of frames that you're actually vulnerable before you grab the ledge. And the cat was able to cover those frames with just a long electric attack of the S Smash. Very smart stuff from the cat because he knew just the way that Nitro was recovering, he had to use the air dodge. You got to capitalize on those instances, have the heads up decision making, gives the thumbs up. He's like, yeah, I, I know what I just did there. Right. He straight up won game one with knowledge. He knowledge <laughs> power, Nitro. <laughs> no one's had to battle. That's what I heard. That goes up game one. And that was so one, close just when being like go. within Nitro clutches too. But now we see Nitro's counterpick. Town and City, a 
Uh, and Smash 4 was known for, for its, its low ceiling. Now it's quite the opposite. It actually has a fairly decent high ceiling and now closer uh, horizontal blast zones. I've seen Sonics do really well on this stage, if anything, just because of the potency of back air uh, off the sides. I feel like the distance to the side of the blast zone comes on a shoulder end. See if he's able to land those back airs 80, 90%, close the stocks out. There's a nice spike. Cat's already shown him. Okay, homing attack connects, but uh, Nitro taking a lot of percent. We're really seeing the momentum stay in the Cat's favor here in game two. I'm wondering if Nitro's going to start to use the up beat more, if anything, just to get himself out of those situations. The Cat's finding two, three hits at a time, and we see the results of that 111 to 60. Like, you know, for watch, one of Sonic's biggest things is like, if I don't like the situation, man, I can just jump the heck out of here. Forward tilt, ouch. He can do that, but at the same time, if the cat ever starts to recognize it, then he's just putting himself in which could possibly be a worse situation, because then at that point, all he really has is an attack or air dodge. Let's see if the cat's going to be able to capitalize on it if that comes to the course of action. Nitro being. I like the down tilts at the ledge as they able to connect. That's big combo damage for uh, Pichu. Solid combination up. He's going to break that up. Spring awesome. Cat goes for the roll. Looking for the neutral layers. Platforms came out at the right time for Nitro. He just escaped that. That's right. He's able to just take a few seconds oh. on that platform. Put the back air into up air. He's, getting, he's not getting the full extension of the, of the combos, but he is just slowly extending his lead. A few times now we've seen the Oh! oh don't even need the spike. That's right, no spike <laughs> needed. We've seen a few times the cat shield get pretty low, trying to deal with the, the shield, the uh, spin from Sonic. I'm wondering if that's something that Nitro's going to look to capitalize on. Maybe go for a grab, maybe go for a forward smash or something, try to break that. There's the first stock. That's how he starts to claw his way back into the game. That's right, very smart option from Nitro, using the spring and converting into a back air. That's what you got to do. Nice combination, 50% oh. racked up. There's the down air. Kind of juke the cat there and sent him down. He was like, oh, action Sonic's up top on stage already. That's right. That was smart stuff from Nitro because uh, he had been choosing to recover low quite a bit. So uh, I was actually thought you were going to go low too. He got me too. <laughs> <laughs> Almost juke the camera too. Up he gets Nitro back on the stage. Let's hang out. Catch our breath on the platform for a moment. Cat looking for the change. Back air. He's going to connect 82 to 83. And the nice. cat still has his advantage, but he hopefully he's not getting uh, just a little bit too overly aggressive. You see, you see uh, Nitro putting on a good amount of percent. At 87 percent, you know, Nitro already has access to a few options that can take the stock. Such a good point. The cat really has an answer exactly where he wants him. Sonic has to come after him. He's patient. He can find the opportunity. He goes in afterwards. He could catch one of those errant back airs that's been working out for Nitro so well over the course of the set. Start to even things up, but at 116, still a ways to go. Okay, and the cat fishing for the F tilt. Made it made very, very obvious, is. but the F tilt works for Nitro instead. Quick option, no in lag. You know it's going to kill with that precision against Pichu. Fish for it and find it. But still, 128%, one forward smash, one solid aerial. It's going to be enough to close out this game. Nitro has to play safe. You can see the F tilt. Oh, goes high oh. to recover. Just throwing out the F tilt. Oh, there was a trade! He traded F2 with the homing attack. Yeah.